Hey myself Stalin today I am going to talk about maze puzzle you may be wondering why should I talk about maze puzzle because the whole topic today I am going to talk about is to implement um, the solving technique using programming in childhood we would have uh, start uh, we would have played this uh, game uh, in newspaper or weekly magazines um, but when it comes to computer programming and how am I going to solve and what are the data structures I need to use what are the algorithms I should be familiar and what are the mathematics concepts I should be aware about to solve this particular problem all those things I am going to cover today so think about uh, we have a simple puzzle where we need to start from here and then reach the destination and it's very simple uh, whenever we look at a small problem but if it isn't a big and it's it's more complicated and it takes more a lot of time to solve the problem so how can i think about this particular problem uh, in, in, in a mathematical manner or, or uh, any other uh, way okay because that's going to help us uh, writing program and try to solve that we can think this way this looks like a graph uh, where each box represent a node okay and the blue line represents uh, the connection between the nodes then we have a graph okay so what is the way to represent the graph the way to represent graph is matrix so we will be using matrix uh, to represent the connection and everything before that think about like uh, what is the way uh, i can navigate to reach the destination file so we can start from 3, go to 0, 1, 2, 5. It is the destination. This is a manual process because human uh, has uh, more intellect. So you can kind of uh, understand looking at the big picture. But computer cannot look at the big picture. So we need to kind of uh, mock it using algorithms and data structures. So um, this is how we are going to represent uh, using matrix so wherever you see zero it's nothing but there is no connection uh, wherever it's one there is a connection so take an example from zero to one there is a connection that's what this one talks about so this connection says that there is a connection between zero to one so the entry of matrix because we have a nine nodes so we should have nine plus nine matrix so this entire uh, matrix represents the complete uh, complete information about this graph let's get into coding um, it's really important to uh, understand uh, some some data structure algorithm before we get into coding so we are going to use uh, there's a concept called dynamic programming graph stack okay and depth for search algorithm so all those things um, as uh, important so we'll talk about one by one why do we need to use dynamic programming there is always a possibility in graph that uh, you go from 0 to 1 and from 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 so we kind of make a loop because whenever you are at any node there is no way you can uh, make sure that uh, whenever you go from 0 to 1 Mm, uh, and then there is a way uh, or possibility where uh, you can come back to zero because the computer don't have brain it never keeps tracks of information where it visited so it's really impossible to give that information to the program we, and to avoid the cycle uh, we should use a concept called dynamic programming so it helps to keep track of the visited nodes so that I don't explore further and this complete thing is nothing but uh, the graph information about this graph and I have a function called maze path mm, the first this one talks about the starting position or starting node uh, this one is the destination and the graph and the visited data structure which is used to maintain or uh, flag the visited nodes that's nothing but dynamic programming so this is uh, what the maze path um, suppose uh, i am at node 3 and i visited 6 and i see there is no connection from here now uh, so i say that like i need to backtrack to 3 and then find a different path altogether 
okay so i need to backtrack so to backtrack i need a classical data structure that's stack that's the reason i use stack here when i check whether the stack is empty or not um, it's not empty because just now i pushed the element okay uh, it's not empty so i'm popping the same element back to the current node because i'm here now i am checking whether the current node and the destination node are same no it's not same because the destination node, node, node is 5 and i make sure that i visited 3 because i'm currently visiting i make sure that i visited here okay and then i just um, traverse all the neighbors uh, for the node 3 so uh, what is this for loop 0 to number of vertices okay the neighbor the, the node which i am uh, visiting is 3 nothing but 0 1 this is 0 1 2 3 okay this is 3 so i wanted to visit its neighbors so 0 to 8 i need to visit so that's the for loop i'm going to put here okay i uh, then uh, i need to kind of uh, locate each column in this matrix so to locate the column i kind of use this expression this is nothing but two dimensional pointer um, calculation okay um if it is zero it should not be zero at the same time i should not visit i should i wouldn't have visit i shouldn't have visited this node earlier so if both condition is true in this case the first condition will be satisfied and i'm going to push the current node current node is nothing but 3 why i am pushing this 3 because i wanted to maintain the path uh, finally which is used to uh, print the path right like i need to maintain that path and the neighbor which i wanted to explore so i need to push these two guys into the stack and keep repeating then and break it because i just wanted to explore this path go back and check uh, the neighbor is equal to destination or not if it is destination then we break it if you keep repeating this job okay finally uh, when you reach the destination you break and come down at that time if you check the stack it will have this complete path okay that's the beauty of this diagram um, if you're not confident i can just go back and then just run this algorithm and see okay so so 3 0 1 because 3 3 0 0 1 1 2 2 5 5 so if you wanted to solve any bigger puzzle just construct this matrix okay and do it as a program that's it this guy can find a path for you if you like the video give a thumbs up if you don't like just scroll in the comment section thanks a lot for watching